Hi, I'm going to explain about the planning scatter inside the Synthesize Toolkit. Now after having it installed, and I've explained that in the Hey Join video, please check that out, then you will need to go to Dynamo Player and start planting random scatter. Edit the input, and you'll see a set of parameters to fill. Now, the thing you'll need to notice that I'll have to prepare like four types of families that will be scattered and I've called them type A and B, C and D. Those four plant types are the ones who I'm going to use to scatter. We check them on realistic view. I'll note that this one has, um, maybe I'll need this to be least scattered and this one uh, equally to this one and maybe this one would be the most scattered part it doesn't actually matter I will just note that this one would be my least scattered part which is type A and this is B, the C and the D so after I've made my mind I'll go to, the, to a plan or site view I'll draw some boundary lines first let me check where the camera hit him this is the camera and it seems that it's looking this way and this would be the covered area so I'll just go ahead and draw the boundary that contains all that area um, I can actually make it less to this or here. Okay. now next step would be to isolate those, those boundary lines and then choosing the types I want to scatter which are A, B, C, and D. Now I'm going to choose like 1,000 feet, maybe more, 150. And the space between those three would be like, um, let's say, to 0 0.2, maybe less. The percentage of type 1, which is the A, would be the least one I want to scatter, which is going to be like, 0, 50, 15, and I'm going to give this 10% I've minus to part 3 or 4, it doesn't actually matter, or if you do 3. So the total of those percentage should be 1. 15, 25, 35, and 25. It should be 1 as a total, like let's say 100%. So all the parameters are set, let's just run. Now it's done and it scattered all these plants. Okay, so I'm going to go to 3D view and check them out. Okay, they are pretty much cool. So the thing is going to be happening now is I'm going to host them on the topo surface. It cannot be done directly, it's kind of a bug here. So I'll have to draw a floor or anything that can host plants. And I'll choose those planting category here. And I'm going to host them on this floor first. Next, I'm going to rehost them on this topo surface. Maybe you would need sometimes to do an offset with zero to make sure that they are on this topo surface. This floor is not needed anymore. You can see all those plants are hosted on this topo surface. The next step would be to set up the high parameter as an instance parameter for those plants. If you chose any plant, you'll see that I have my height as an instance parameter. This can be done by editing the family of the tree and going to any elevation, clicking on the dimension and making it an instance parameter. So you would make sure that the height is set to an instance instead of the type. The reason I didn't make it from this window is because the red doesn't allow me to make an instance from here. Therefore, I made it from the dimension in the elevation view. Next, after doing so, I'm going to get back here and again to my Dynamo player, going to Planting, Rotate and Scale. Edit Inputs. Now, before I get started on this, I want to explain that those three, I want them to be untouched. So, I don't want it to categorize or to randomize the whole category in here, Planting, it will go and pick those. So, for that, of course, the name of the parameter to randomize, it's called Height, which is Height, that's it. Specified types only, yes, I want it to be specified types, which are the type A, B, C, D. Yay. 
and the B and the C and the D. So the reason I did this because I don't want those to be graphed in. I weighted only specified types and only those types to be randomized, which is the A, B, C, D here. So the minimum value for the height, as it seems to me here it's 1, I don't want it to be less than 0 0.5 and I don't want it to be more than 1.2, maybe 0 0.6 would do it better. So the 0 0.6 should be something like this and the 1.2 would be something like this. I don't want it to be larger or smaller. Cool. Now, after I've done this setup, I'll click on play, and you'll have to wait a bit. It's done. If I want to click Ctrl Z, it was like this, and now it got like this. It's randomized, it's fully randomized with sizes and rotations. If you can see, each one has its own rotation now and its own size. Perfect. After doing so, uh, let me get back to my camera view and check this garden, or let's say, and I'll click on, before I click on render, I'll set up my shadowing. Now this is the shadow I want, turn it off, and then I'll go and hit the render button with the medium and maybe 2000 pixels with no clouds and let me hit render. Let's wait for it to finish. It took about 7 minutes to be rendered with the medium settings. I'm going to close this and I will adjust like, the exposure a little bit. Maybe then I'll move it into Photoshop for further editing. Here it is. So a quick scattering with a bit of tinkering might actually get you something cool like the following image. It's straight out of Revit. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and for sure you can use any plantings and any model plants or RPC plants with any project. Of course, I recommend to have it as a linked file, not directly in the project for, for the performance purposes. Now, there is a, this small trick I want to add to this video. For example, if I wanted to navigate throughout my project and after having those scattered, um, I can actually go to course and all my trees will get to lines, will convert into lines. This is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty lightweight on your project and you'll navigate easily through it. Um, getting into medium or fine will actually get it to complex trees. So this trick is very easy to apply. Basically, I've just edited the family of this tree and make it in the visibility settings disappear from the course and have this model line drawn here and make this model line disappear in medium and fine. It only appears in the course. This is actually some sort of a basic uh, Revit uh, family editing functionality. So you'll get to use this. And as soon as you do this, when you are done with the trees or you don't want to see the trees while you're navigating through your project, just go for course and it will be really, really quick and easy. While going to medium will actually be something really heavy. Hope you enjoyed this video and see ya.